all right hello everyone and welcome to this new video and in this video i will teach you how you can print the pedigree of your rabbits using the rabbitry mobile application platform uh, so for that uh, let's let's assume that you have uh, uh, four rabbits so a b c and d and let's make it so that uh, so a is the child and uh, so b is the sire and c is the dam so i would say that this is sire this is dam and then we have d so like let's let's put uh, e as well so we have d so this is sire and this is e <coughs> so e is dam so how you would uh, use our mobile application to print this pedigree i will teach you in this uh, in this uh, video so this is uh, i have made the assumption that you have all these uh, rabbits inside your rabbitry like you have all these rabbits and this is this is true for uh, for <coughs> a single rabbit let's say you have bought a rabbit and then uh, in the pedigree of that rabbit uh, there was this whole structure that you would like to save inside our application so the only difference that we will have is that the actual status of the rabbit so if you have bought one rabbit and you get the pedigree certificate so you will still add all these rabbits but with a different status and if you had these rabbits already inside your rabbitry or inside your farm then you can choose a different status uh, based on the uh, condition of the rabbit so let's let's open the application here um, i will quickly open the application and uh, for that uh, make sure that you have the premium version of the of the rabbitry application purchased and if you haven't then you can just simply go to the settings and go to the subscription and from the subscription screen you can uh, you can choose uh, whatever uh, plan is best for you like you can say 50 rabbits 100 rabbits or 200 rabbits and then the price will update based on your on your country so um, i would assume that you have the premium version before uh, printing this pedigree so what i will do is that first of all i will go and i will quickly add all these a b c d and e rabbits so in inside the rabbit section if i go here and uh, if i click here then i can uh, let's say i put the id or the tattoo for this rabbit as a uh, so let's say this is uh, uh, this is a buck so i have uh, selected the buck here and then uh, i have uh, entered a as the tattoo of the of the rabbit you can also put the cage number or the name or whatever you like but usually this is the uh, this is the tattoo and then you can choose the date of birth i'll just keep it um, keep it uh, similar for all of the rabbit just to make my point so now i have uh, a rabbit here uh, i will add b so b is siri so i will choose the gender as buck now i will add c as C is dam, so I will choose toy as the as the gender. I will add D. So D is city, so I will choose the buck here. And now I will add another one that is called E. So E is the dam, so I will choose the doy um, gender here. So uh, now i have all the rabbits a b c d e and uh, so for for a rabbit uh, as you can see all of them have active status that means you own all of these rabbits but let's say you have bought uh, a rabbit and then all of them were in the pedigree certificate so what you will do is that you will go inside each of them and change the status to uh, pedigree so once you will do it will just appear as a as a imported like uh, just a 
placeholder rabbit so it won't appear inside the breeding or these sort of uh, activities for you so i will i will uh, change the status for all of the rabbits except a rabbit uh, into the status of pedigree all right so now this is the active rabbit that that currently i own uh, i own um, excuse me assuming that i own this one and the rest of them are uh, just simply i have copied them from the pedigree chart or the pedigree certificate so for for a if i go inside the a and then if i scroll down uh, i should see this sire and dam um, drop down so if i click on the sire so for a the sire is b and the dam is c so i will choose c here and then i will save this one and for c if i go to the c and i will choose the sire as d and the dam as e and i will save this one so now i have all the pedigree already saved inside this application so now i will click this uh, this tree button here on the top so as you can see now it gives me the option uh, to choose a rabbit so because i'm printing for rabbit a so i will choose a and then i will click print this will make a request uh, to our servers and as you can see here now uh, we have a rabbit and then b c and then d e and then it has uh, empty space as well that you can utilize if you would like otherwise you can just use this as it is so currently it, it gives the date of birth uh, the gender breed and color if you add those information it will appear here and then there is a little logo for our app and then there's a print button as you can see here so if you click the print button then it will um, show you uh, as, as a PDF so what you can do is that you can uh, simply save this as a PDF so this will download it locally to your uh, to your uh, mobile uh, you can choose the place where you would like to save this one I will just simply choose a download folder and hit save here okay here's the save documents I think I need to give it some name so let's say uh, chart okay now this one is saved uh, I'll go to the to the files section of my phone and as you can see here this is the this is the pedigree that I just uh, printed so A is a part B is sire and D is dam and then there is information that you can print al along with it so I hope you you have uh, now understood how you can print uh, the pedigree using the rabbit tree mobile application and uh, in the future we are uh, planning to update uh, this chart uh, currently it, it basically gives the minimum functionality but in the future you can you can see a lot of different advanced uh, features inside the pedigree uh, printing as well so thank you so much guys for watching and uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so that you get the uh, notification for our new videos we are going to have uh, more videos uh, for using our application so please uh, do check out other videos and please do subscribe as well and see you in the next video thank you so much